गुड इवनिंग नमस्कार प्रणाम रिस्क असेसमेंट इज ए वेरी इंपोर्टेंट फॉर पी एस सी एज पर न्यू लर्नर दिस इज वेरी मच इंटरेस्टिंग ऑन द डिमांड ऑफ न्यू लर्नर टूडे आई एम गिविंग अ वेरी शॉर्ट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ रिस्क इन सी एस सी दिस विल बी अ सीरीज ऑफ वीडियो दैट कैन हेल्प टू अंडरस्टैंड द रिस्क स्टेप बाय स्टेप तो गाइज I am Hima Sharma. I am trainer on quality related topics of pharmaceutical industry, and today we are discussing about what is the risk in computer system validation. This uh, video is divided into the four part basically. That is the validation, risk assessment, risk mitigation, and warning letters. First of all, validation. CSV definitions, roles, and responsibility. so what is the csv definition confirmation by examination and provision of objective evidence that software specification confirm to user need and intended use and that the particular requirement implemented through software can be consistently fulfilled means by examination of the provision so that you can collect the evidence that particular software is purchased and used for your intended use as per regulatory requirement so throughout the process whatever you decided in software according to the regulatory requirement you have to be proved with the evidence or with all the particular requirements so that your result should be consistently fulfilled for detail of the csv i have lot of the others videos you can go my channel and see all the other videos too here i am going with the introduction part to understand the risk management system in csv so for any csv we first of all plan for that then there is specification user specification then you are going to be purchase then you verify that then you report that this is the very basic thing for any csv in particular csv there is role and responsibilities role of process owner means manage the business process for the computer system ensure that the system is appropriate for the business process assign subject master expert to participate in the requirement definition and verification means if you are going to purchase any software like sap or limbs or any chromatographic system or any other qc related equipment system who will be the process owner means if you are going to qc related system then user will be the process owner because he knows everything about how can the process going on on the shift system computer system for example we are taking example of the limbs if i know i have to be manage all the samples in qc throughout the limbs so i have to manage the process in the computer system i have to manage appropriate flow of limbs i have to collect the subject master expert in my team who can know about each and every step of the limbs so i will be the process owner of the limbs laboratory informants management system now role of system owner manage the implementation and support of computer system ensure that the system is available to support the business process assign technical expert to participate in all phases of validation cycle means we are gate taking the example of the limbs so someone who manage all the implementation and support the computer system means you want network you want pc you want uh, processor and all so the person or the team who will be the responsible to collect all the things for that your lim system should be processed accordingly will be your it team so your it team will be the system owner so the responsibility of system owner 
to manage and implementation support ensure that all the things should be available for business process and any technical requirement during the validation phase should be given by this system owner role of quality assurance ensure that the computer system meets all the internal standards ensure that computer system meet all the applicable regulation ensure that the computer system is ready for inspection means all the internal system should be valid in your computer system your lim system all the system as per regulatory requirement should be available in lims and your lims should be ready for any inspection as per the rule and regulation of the gmp or glp so these are the roles major roles now what is the risk assessment to understand the risk assessment or the risk because this is the vast topic and we are going very series way to understand this first of all we have to understand what is the hazard what is the hazard hazard means a potential source of harm means a reason to going a wrong thing this is known as hazard so what is the risk the combination of probability of occurrence and a harm and the severity of the harm means the reason how can harm happen how can wrong happen this is the risk so what is the risk assessment a comprehensive evaluation of risk and associated impact means what is the risk combine that evaluate that and what is the impact on my system so if i am going to implement the lims in qc so what is the risk and what is the impact on my process of sample entry up to the specification preparation up to the sample testing and all so this is the risk assessment so what is the mitigation the action taken to reduce the risk means i identify all the things what going to be harm now what is the control or what is the system i develop so that all the things when going to be wrong previously i can control that before it going to be harm so to reduce the risk actions known as mitigations so a systematic approach to assessment and mitigation of risk throughout the system life cycle is known as risk management so what is the risk assessment in guidelines according to us fda fda glossary of computerized system and software development terminology risk a measure of probability and severity of undesired effect often taken as the simple product of probability and consequence risk assessment a comprehensive evaluation of the risk and its associated impact fda 21 cfr 820 quality system mitigation design validation shall include software validation and risk analysis where appropriate It means whenever we are going to be design there should be the risk analysis first of the self software used in medical device exiting international standard indicate that the estimation of the risk should be considered as the product of the severity of harm and the probability of occurrence of the harm means you have to see what is the probability of occurrence anything to be go wrong it is more appropriate to manage software safety risks based on the severity of harm rather than the software failure rate okay means it is very important to see what is going to be harm firstly when we are going to be risk ichq9 we all know very well this is the ichq9 r1 is in draft 1 and 1 is previously 1 so ichq9 quality risk management risk assessment consists of identification of hazard 
means we have to identify first what is going to be wrong and the analysis then analysis that how can it going to be wrong and evaluation of risk and evaluate all the risks what going to be wrong what going to be wrong firstly secondly third associate with exposure of these hazard the three fundamental questions one what might go wrong second what is the likelihood means what is the probability it will go wrong what are the consequences means what is the severity so these three questions give us for risk assessment picks good practice of computerized system used in regulatory gxp environment accordingly risk assessment regulated user should be able to justify and define their standard protocol acceptance criteria procedure and record in the light of their own documented risk and complexity assessment the risk assessment and the result including the reason for the ranking as either critical or the non critical should be documented the urs should form the basis of risk assessment of the system of gxp compliance requirement in addition to other risks such as safety the risk analysis may be based upon the functional specification which is related to urs the risk assessment should identify critical feature means if i know all the guidelines if i know all the functional requirement regulatory requirement and other important requirement then i have to prepare the urs according to my user requirement there i have there i have to be implement or we have to be think about the what is the risk when i am giving any requirement so what is the risk behind this so according to pix we have to identify the risk according to our requirement our user requirement validation scope and approach it is the important to knowledge that the scope and level of documentation and record needed to formalize and safety basis project management requirement for critical system will be dependent on the complexity of the system and variable the need of ensure data integrity the level of risk associated with the operation and gxp area impact means when we have to going to be prepare any urs what we have to see we have to see what is the complexity with the system and what is the variable so why i have to ensure that means i have to be ensure my data integrity so how can we i protect my data from losing the integrity level of risk risk supported to operation when i am going to be operate the system what is the risk what is the gxp area impact so these are some points that we i have to be included in our urs means user requirement specification and accordingly i have to prepare my risk assessment so how can i perform the role of each team member is important for assessment of risk means process owner understand the whole process and identify the risk evaluate and classify according means in our example of lins our qc team or qa team will be here system owner collect the total information about the work of software and how can we run smoothly without error means our it team and vendor here also in three parts vendor will all be associated quality assurance team ensure all regulatory requirement of the system so these three with vendor are important to doing this we should finalize the risk assessment matrix according to pix guideline we already understand how can we define our urs and how can we do the risk so our risk should be related to at least three parts first is operational requirement or functional requirement second is non functional requirement third is life cycle requirement so these points uh, complexity data integrity associated with operation risk and gxp impacted we can do with these three so what is the operational requirement give us some example like functional requirement like should be closed so uh, your software should be the closed environment user access should be there client send the data to server etc data requirement print of all information audit trail view data backup data restoration etc 
technical requirement like multi user option information on any failure as message interference requirement like password policy printer requirement lan requirement regulatory requirement 21 cfr part 11 different user requirement audit trial change in the signature pass uh, must be available in software etc non functional requirement like security requirement like the database shall be protected with the access control and any change shall be recorded any attempt to the unauthorized use shall be detected and reported immediately maintenance requirement like periodic maintenance of the data based upon program shall be done as per the service agreement periodic trainings my, migration of electronic data data migration shall be able to be done manually whenever necessary data archival from the previous version must be accordingly restored in newer software version life cycle requirement development requirement the vendor shall provide the software structure integrity assurance certificate testing and load testing testing in client server environment site acceptance testing the software shall be installed and tested on site under real operation condition installation qualification the installation qualification shall be done as a part of vendor protocol by the vendor operation qualification shall be done as a vendor protocol by the vendor so uh, these are life cycle requirements so some is training related requirement some is support related requirement after acceptance criteria so these are the some requirement accordingly we can do the risk assessment so this is the very informative things about the risk assessment in next video we can take one of the example and take step by step how can we identify the risk analyze the risk and how can we mitigate the risk and how can we do the risk assessment so i hope this is basic one you like it uh, and i really appreciate your uh, responses kindly share it like it and subscribe it if you really like it so uh, i can again i will come again with the next step of risk assessment till then bye bye take care remaining compliant